Hello folks, this is G-Wave here, and we're back with our Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. Last time we were here, we ended up freeing the lava monster from his curse. Like, basically, as from the show, there was this guy that was turned into a lava monster. He was now, in this uh, time rep, he was he's now under Aku's control. You know, this time loop, I mean. So... Yeah, Jack ended up freeing him again, and now we're in the cemetery episode. So, without further ado, let's begin. Seriously, the cemetery episode was one of my favorite episodes from Samurai Jack. The Mongo again. Yeah, short sure thing, Damongo. So yeah, Damongo, like I said in the last video, he's one of Aku's minions. And yet another amazing character from an amazing episode. He's basically like some type of Grim Reaper character. And in this game, Damongo serves as like a mini-boss. Which is kind of a shame, since they don't really treat the Mongol like he's a big deal in this game. Just like, you know, a boss fight for Jack to do, so that way he can progress throughout the rest of the game. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I remember this. This is some evil spirit that Aku summoned. I remember it from the episode. Got her. Another Aku amulet. Jack! Take my hand! Wait! Ashi. So, yep, that was the boss fight, the cemetery level. So, yeah, that was a unique thing. That ghost that we just fought. It appeared in the show, but really, it really wasn't all that big. Like, what it did is that it took Jack's sword, and that was the infamous episode where Aku stole Jack's sword, and Jack had to fight Aku without a sword, whereas Aku was now using Jack's sword. Seriously, a really good episode, and I was surprised that they turned, like, a very minor, one-time uh, henchman of Aku into a boss battle like that was really unique but anyway let's continue a cool city Dude, this is definitely an easter egg to the very first episode where Jack arrived in the future, but it's not. The Imakandi? Yep, another good episode. Ah, I cannot face them here, there are too many. 
Too many. Jack, there's only four of them. Yeah, the Yimakandi are no joke. They're one of the rare occasions of a character that defeated Jack in a fight. Basically, they were gonna hunt Jack because Aku found them in another planet. Where basically they're all like lion people. And what they do is that they hunt the best of the best prey. Not for money, but almost like a traditional thing they do. And what's really unique is that they were one of the people to actually beat Jack in a fight. And that was really unique that the Itakandi, I don't know if I'm saying their name right. I feel wrong that I'm butchering their name. They managed to actually kick Jack's ass. Like, they gave Jack a good fight. But they're not evil. But once they defeated Jack, that was it. They had no intention of going after him because they found him that worthy of a foe. Here they are. <laughs> Samurai Jack, you have been chosen as prey for our sacred hunt. A tradition that has lasted eons. Mm -hmm. I will not be your prey again. You have no choice. This is our way of life. For we are in a candy. See, like I said, like a way of life. There's nothing personal to them. Like, they don't hate Jack. It's just that if this is what they do. Oh! <laughs> 
Scotsman. Better be watching out, laddie. I really like his music. So yup, this is it guys, we're in Aku City. But I'm nice like that, son. I'm nice like that. Don't ever fuck with Jack.
<coughs> Excuse me. I really love the music in this game. Especially due to the fact that it was made by the same people that made the music from the show. This thing, the ninja drone. So yeah, as always, we got a new enemy, the Ninja Drone. Oh my god. I remember when Jack fought that thing. Yet another enemy that gave Jack a run for his money. Like, think about it. That was a really good episode, too. A Ninja versus a Samurai. You guys heard our cool right there? Look at this, the giant beetle again. Well, it's good to see that even in an apocalyptic future, where the world is ruled by the devil himself, there's some nice peacefulness. Ooh, look at this. It's so nice. Oh, 
next. Thank you. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, these ninja robots are tough. Look at this. And look at those two. While I listen to you, he's got to be in the city. <laughs> that poster is just about as close as we're ever going to get to finding the samurai. <laughs> Wonder I divorced you. The two bounty hunter couple. I forgot their names, but they also appear in their unique episode. It's not getting easier by the minute. Look at this, Jack's wanted everywhere. Look at this, so many Easter eggs. Just making sure there's no treasure around.
Oh, shoot. Straight to the top. Hey, no fair. Okay, at least I got a good challenge. Seriously, these guys are gonna be more difficult now. Let's see. What if I... There we go. You have proven yourself, Samurai, and earned the right to be free after leading us on such a noble hunt. You have the respect of Imetande. So I guess this means that Jack got his rematch. First time he fought them, he lost. Now he actually beated them. What? Gotcha. Ah, oh, here they are, the bounty hunting couple. What did I tell you? My, my, is our coup gonna be happy? Ah, I remember this episode. I like this so much.
<laughs> Come on, little gator. Keep moving. So, lady, you want to go too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
Got him. This ain't over yet, Samurai. Mark my words. You tell him. Mess this up, you always do. Mm How -hmm. oh, convenient. And yeah, I don't know if they're alive or dead. I don't. Take my hand. Ashi. Quickly. I don't know how long I can hold it open. Bro, she is struggling just to hold that portal open. Let's see where else Jack is going to end up at. Ashi. Ashi? Nope. Where am I? Ashi. I was so close. Poor little samurai. Ah, you ooh. thought you found a way out. No more. There will be no escape. Wait. Ever. Aku. Ah! All right. Let's see where Aku is sending us. Oh, <laughs> season five, final season. What? Did... How can this be? This is when Jack lost his way. And lost his sword. Looks like Aku did a number on you, babe. Scaramooch. Ooh, the scowl on that grill. Tough stuff, but no bluff, Daddy O. It's did it bit if it you. You. Yodelay he who, baby. It's Aku's number one assassin. The Pied Piper of Pain. The Ambassador of Annihilation. The Crooner of Carnage. Scaramouche the Merciless. And if I got a special tune just for you, Jackie, baby. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, bah! In that killer, huh? I will waste no more time. Where is Aku? Patience, baby, patience. This is only the second act, and we're just getting started. Ooh, you got the main and the front scruff to boot. I dig it, babe. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit. I hope you're ready because our crew's got a whole new bag and he's ready to unleash it. Be seeing you, Jackie. Beat it for the air, but that bye bye. Mm. I am ready, Aku. Bruh, I remember when Jack had this beard. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here, guys. So yeah. Basically, we defeated the Arakatsuki. Again, I keep mispronouncing their name. The Lion People. I'm gonna call them the Lion People. We defeated Dumb. And we defeated the Bounty Hunting Couple. Like those, uh... 
cowboy and cowgirl lady. Like, I keep forgetting them, too. They appear in one episode. Like, I literally forget their name. But either way, we defeated them. So right now, we're in Season 5 of Samurai Jack. Like, yeah, when Season 5 began, seeing Jack in that armor and that. And fun fact, Season 5, Jack temporarily lost his sword, but then he gets it back midway through the season. So I'm glad that they decided to give us Jack's sword, because imagine they had us do this level without Jack's sword. That would be really unique that we got to do the level where we got to get it back. So, yeah, that guy right there, he's Scaramouche, and he's basically one of Aku's top assassins. So, yeah, Scaramouche was like the second main antagonist, like, well, not really second, the third main antagonist of season five. So, yeah, he was like Aku's main henchman. And one of Scaramouche's abilities is that he can control and levitate things with his flute. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. So, as for being the lion guys, just block, attack, throw your shurikens and all that. And the same thing with the bounty hunting couple. The more difficult one is, of course, the, the, the male one because he has more weapons, more abilities. Whereas the bounty hunting lady, all she does is just hit you with her umbrella, shoot, easy to avoid her attacks. So, there is that. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe with our other fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll do yet another Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. To the G-Wave signing out. Because you see Jack is getting closer to Ashi. Like Ashi's trying to use her powers to find Jack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe with our other fun stuff. Check out my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. If you want to see some other content. And I'll see you guys next time. We'll do yet another Samurai Jack Battle Through Time page. Bleh. Battle through time playthrough to the G Wave signing out. Also, tomorrow is the last day of voting day, guys. So make sure you go out and do your votes and all that stuff. Because tomorrow's your last chance to vote. So yeah. The fate of America is in your hand. So tomorrow's the last day to vote. So make sure you do that. Anyway, this is G Wave signing out. Bye.